I have this feel free uh, lure 11.5 and uh, I got it used and one thing I noticed about it when I got it was that uh, there was some stuff rattling around on the inside so I stood it on end and all of this tubing fell out this is the actual tubing for uh, running a rudder so that runs from back here there's two here one of them is for raising and lowering the rudder and uh, the other one is for uh, steering but what I did notice was all the tubing is broken and there is no hatch there's no hatch anywhere in the in the in the kayak for running the uh, rudder so how am I supposed to get the tubing from here to here and to here with the only hatch opening over there I did notice these little circles here there's a circle here another one here 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 all the way around there's a few in the middle so I'm thinking that the uh, this floor comes out but I don't know if this floor is glued in or what but I'll have to because all these covers are, are glued in because I, I peeled one out and there is a there is a screw head in there but I've discovered an easier way of doing it because I ran the cables on my Uh, my Huda Tempest slash uh, Brooklyn Kayak PK-12. And the way I do it is I take this off. So I'll have access to the hull. And what I'm going to do is I'll take a heavy wire and run it through here until it gets to here. Then from this side, I'll run the uh, tubing I'll cut it into a sharp point and run it up to here. So what I'll do is I'll put the wire inside of the tubing and then shove the tubing along the wire until the point pops out over here. But once the point pops out over here, I'll pull the wire out, grab it with a pair of pliers and pull the tubing through, and then I'll have a constant tube from here all the way to here and also all the way to here. <clears throat> I've actually done this before and recorded it, but my... Uh, memory card failed on me so I don't have any of that video but uh, that's it that's just a, a verbal explanation of what I'm going to do and how I'm going to do it before I even start building a rudder for it I mean I've built rudders before this is one I built for a sailboat that's really complicated because this part pops up in case it hits something it's got an extension arm so that I could sit in the front of the sailboat to, to do it that way. I'll link a video in the description here of how I built that. Then I also have another rudder that I built that was kind of like one of these that uh, I put on a, uh, what was it? It was a, it was a, a Pescador 12. And I've sold that one since. And the lady who bought it loved it. All right, so just an explanation. I re-explain. Re I'm going to run a wire through here until it reaches here that I can see it. After I take this out, I'll be able to see it through the hole. And I'll rub, run the hose or the tubing from here. This is actually looks like some sort of a factory. Let's see if I can pull this out. Yeah, it's going to be hard to pull that out. Anyway, so the tubing will go through here. I'll run the tubing over the, the, the wire as a guide. So when I start shoving the tubing forward, it'll, it'll just follow where the wire comes in. It's going to be like heavy wire. Uh, I guess you, it's not that far. I guess I could use a hanger. Straighten out a, an old hanger. Okay, here's my solution. I pulled the tips out of here and they had these little barbs on the end of them. This is uh, I I tried to do a Google image search for these, and I know the I know it's called a barb, but I don't know what the end part is. Because you look up end cap, and it has it without the hole. 
but you can just buy uh, any one of these cut the end off and it'll work just as fun just as, just as well all right I've removed the uh, ends of the tubes that were in here a lot of people what they do is they take the end of the this is a little piece of the broken off one but they'll take the end of it heat it up and it flares itself but it still doesn't look right so anyway here's my solution I ran a coat hanger through here and I took off the uh, I took off the rod holder it looked just like that one and this is the silicone that they used in there anyway it's got a rubber grommet in the thing so I ran the wire through I also ran the, the hose from the back what I'm using is irrigation tubing I think it's quarter inch I can't I can't read the label anymore because I've had that for so long I cut the end into a point like this so what I'll do here is uh, I've got too much hose coming out over there uh, I'm gonna run the I'm gonna pause for a second here and then I'm gonna come back when I've got the wire inside the hose okay we're back the hose in the wire are right here you can see here that I ran the wire into the hose or the tubing rather so now what I'm gonna do is uh, I'm gonna feed the tubing until the point starts coming out of here and then I'll grab it and pull it pull it through if I can find it there it is yeah try twisting this a little bit Let's see if maybe I'll give it get it coming out in a different direction and like I said you cut the cut the tubing into a really a sharp point uh, okay after a little wrestling I got the point to come through here uh, so here's basically what you do is uh, you can't let it go if I let it go it slides back out but, Pull your hose through here. Take the, whoa, take the wire out. Now, I'm gonna snip the end off and put one of those little uh, barbs on it. And this side should be done. All right, here we go. I've got that little barb end on it. And now when I shove it through, it's got a really nice tight fit. There's one of them done. Well, done up to there. Now the trick to getting tight over here is I'll need to get like a little clamp or something. So what I'm gonna do is when I pull this out here, I'm gonna stretch it a little bit and then cut it. The thing is I'm gonna have a heck of a time uh, getting that little barb on that end. Because what I had to do with this one is I had to heat it. Uh, I had to heat it to run the, the tubing so this is just to give you an idea of how to access the back end of your kayak hopefully you have rod holders and they're in between where your your deals go let's see is this going to reach over there oh it's barely going to reach oh actually it's not going to reach because it's going to have to go around this thing so this will have to go back here i'm going to have to get a little longer wire this isn't a complete hanger. One one hanger will reach there. But uh, as far as the cable running, running the cable goes, I have several options. I can do it with paracord. I can do it with stainless steel cable, like I've done a few other with my other uh, what do you call it? My other uh, rudder systems. And then I've also got this coated cable. With, I've got the crimps for everything too. So. Uh, this is my solution for running tubing from the back of the kayak. The thing is, I mean, it's gonna be hard to manipulate that wire to get it to where I can catch it over here. So what I did on this side, I, I made this little loop so that when I ran the, the tubing in, I stuck this down there and I just reached around until I, until I found the tubing. And there you can see I actually grabbed the tubing right there. 
but there's your solution for running uh, rudder tubes uh, without an access point. I mean, hopefully you have uh, flush mount rod holders. Mine are full of water because it rained yesterday. But hey, thanks for watching. I hope this helps. Uh, like, subscribe, and send me a dollar. Yeah, I have a, a bad handle. I mean, it's not really bad. It's just pretty beat up. So I got some new handles. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to fold this over. And then I'm going to run a, a, my soldering iron right through the seam of this to make a to make a, a hole and then these are the little bolts with the, oh the little washer shit go on here so I'm gonna take care of that too while I'm working on these tubing lines that's the only handle that it has on here that's not a molded in I guess that the purpose of that is in case you put a rudder on then you have a, uh, a way of holding on to it all right, I'm not going to be able to show you my plunging the iron through it because I've only got two hands and one hand is holding the camera. So I'll come right back once I've heated the, melted the hole through there. So now I've got the, the hole melted through. And when you do it, it makes all these little ugly little hairs. I'm going to reheat this one and, and, and flatten it again because see, see what it does? It's, it's all flared out. So what I did again is I run the iron back through the hole and then I squish it so that all of that melted vinyl or whatever it is uh, goes together and creates a bond. So now I'm gonna I'm just show, I did this to show you all the little hairs that it makes. But all right, in a second I'll jump back on here and we'll be uh, installing it. All right, I've got one side installed. I'm about to install the other one. And the holes are just a little smaller than the screw, which is nice so that when I put the screw through, it actually has to be screwed in place. So it has a really tight fit. Yeah, I had to hold it and screw it in to get that all of the vinyl to slip through. I'm gonna have to I'm gonna have to hold this while I screw it so come back here in a sec when it's done there we go we've got a new handle I hope this helped you out thanks for watching like subscribe and send me a dollar